Vanilla old school escape guide. Hey guys, this is Vanilla here. Welcome to Progress episode number five. So see how much farming experience I got from my tree and fruit tree run. You'll also see me complete a birdhouse run, the Jelly's Slayer task, and also complete the Dagoneth Slayer task. So accompanying me throughout the progress video will be my cat, who I have affectionately named Milo. And yes, this cat has successfully reached adulthood without running away. So if you're interested in keeping up with my latest hijinks and guides, be sure that you've hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And let's get on and see my progress. So I'm going to go and do my tree and fruit tree run and see how much experience I got. So I'm starting off at level 42 and I just need 222 experience to get to the next level. So we got to level 43, that's exciting. Wow, so we're at level 44 already. This seems easier than I thought it would be. And this is the one that I forgot to protect and it's dead. It's really sad. So always make sure you pay to protect. Cool, and we got to 45. Forty six. So far, so good. I wonder how much experience I'll get from those teak trees on Fossil Island. Wow, that is so much. That's mad. I did not expect that. How much is this wood worth? Wow, maybe I'll get to level 49. So after that, I got super close to level 49. I only need 66 experience. So in one fruit tree and tree run, I got from level 42 to level 49, which to me seems pretty amazing. Like it only took me a few minutes and it just worked away quietly in the background. Time for another birdhouse run. I'm really hoping to get to level 75 hunter soon because then I can make magic birdhouses. So I'm hoping that the rewards from the magic birdhouses will be even better than the U birdhouses. So at the moment I'm level 70 hunter. I just need 26,000 experience and I get 4,000 experience per birdhouse run. So it's actually not that far away even just doing birdhouse runs for me to level.
Let's see what we got. So from that run, we got 24,000-ish worth of stuff. So that's pretty good. So I just made a Slayer guide on jellies and part of it was the safe spot. So I'm going to finish up my Slayer task on jellies. I think so far I've only done like 10 and I've got to do maybe 140 more. So I have heaps to go. The moment my Slayer level is 54 and my range is level 68. I've got some ranging potions just to give me a bit of a boost. And I will let you guys know how I get on with my leveling and slayer task. So experience wise, I got one defense level. I decided to use the long range attack style because I really wanted to level some defense. I also got one slayer level and I'm level 69 range. So I've just been given the slayer task of Dagonoths. So I need to kill 138 of them. So I'm all kitted up and ready to go. I'm just going to find them using the fairy ring system. So I'm going to use the code ALP. I've got my cat with me for some good luck. So I'm going to the lighthouse. Also, if you haven't joined my clan chat, I highly recommend it. We've got a really cool bunch of people and we just like to talk about anything really. So it's pretty chill and if you're in for a chill time, come join us. So now I'll put in ALP. Now I'm at the lighthouse. So I did actually do a quest guide on Horrors of the Deep and I think you might need that to access the lighthouse but um, when I recorded it, it didn't save so I was absolutely heartbroken um, but I might re-record it on another account one day. I hope my cat gets through. So I need to go somewhere around the middle Put on my protect from melee and put down my cannon. Okay, so the cannon is good to go. I'm going to drink one of my super combat potions. So that's improved my strength, my attack, and my defense. So that's pretty cool. So at the moment my Slayer is level 55 and I just need 12,000 experience. I've got 56 defense and I need another 17,000 experience. So defense is what I'm working on at the moment. I'm really trying to get to level 60 defense so that I can wear dragon armor and some other cool stuff. So I'll let you know how I get on. So I'm actually really surprised. I've got quite a lot of Slayer experience from this task. I've also got a lot of range experience from this task. I've still got 30 or so to go, but to be honest, it probably only took me about 10 minutes to get all of this done, which is amazing. Like, look at all that range experience. It is insane. Awesome! So I've completed the Slayer task, so that is super great. So I'll pick up my cannon and then I'm all done here. So I hope that you enjoyed this progress vid. 
I got a few levels in a few different things, so that's been pretty cool. So I'm feeling pretty good about what's been achieved today. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and let me know what you thought of the video. Thank you. Bye.